Hi, I am on uh, an old computer, let's say, and a new computer with old settings, as so would be better. So uh, we're on Arch Labs i3, and um, well, I, I just noticed that I don't have any of these special colors uh, that I talked about a few videos ago. And um, that's why this, well, this is a clean install. This has not the latest uh, elements from uh, Arch Labs i3. So what do you do if you want to keep up with all the latest stuff out there? Well, we have um, our GitHub and let's move the file manager, which is now on screen 8 to or workspace 8 to 5 as well. <clears throat> what I'm going to do is, is use... Uh, okay, forgot to put on the screen key. Activating it. So... Um, what we can do is activate a program called Melt Super F5, and you have this left thing here. Then I said to him, okay, do you want to compare a file comparison or a directory? I want to compare a directory. Then I download, you download um, Arch Labs, and then you go look for, where is it? i3 somewhere, here it is. So I move this one in here. I want to compare the one that's online. This is my online stuff. Everything I make change, I'll put it on GitHub. So this is the Arch Labs folder. And then I'm gonna compare it with my current i3. So my personal .config i3. Okay, so I'm gonna take this one as well and put it in there. So comparing one folder with another folder. Okay, compare. Don't need this anymore, so I'm gonna quit it. Things have been changed, luckily, and there is uh, advantage or progress. So we have had we have added backup folders. I think it's important for i3 to also have backups. So remember, this is the one from online, and this is my local one. So things are normally improving, meaning that the right one. The online version is always going to be green and green means that these elements are online and they are not on your system so i'm going to copy paste them to the left okay that's the way of working i always do i put things that are new original ones to the right and i'll put the left the the ones from me so the personal configurations so uh color setups aha that's what i need so copy to the left this is something we just did in a tutorial um, I just sh I've shown how to uh, make the EOR nemesis appear on i3 so that's not needed analysis and a readme is just stuff for um, tell me github this is strange so let's have a look oh, yeah. I did change that um, the conky, the standard conky will be next time a little bit darker. So the background is a little bit darker. Better to see on the white wallpapers. And I changed the color one, which is a darker gray. And now it's gonna be bright, bright, bright white. So I'm picking those settings as well. So and then you save. So now we have the same. If there are no color differences, then this one and this one is the same. So, and we need to take a look at the config. That's the most important part. That's the heart of the system, and here you see what I've done. I did indeed uh, do an exercise, and AOR Nemesis is now active. This is Arch Labs Nemesis, so this is the new conky that's working now. So okay, um, don't have to change that. So that this is local, uh, left is local, and right is online. Oh yeah, indeed, um, there was an uh, a K. Arch Labs conflict, okay, so we changed it to K from Slim Lock. Okay, super. Anything else? So we check these blue things at the uh, right here. It's a little bit up. So that's this one. Okay, scroll down. Here's another blue thing. And here are some colors that I've changed. Um, okay, so the new version of line has different colors. Yes. Okay, so we say yes, yes, yes. And we'll take a look later what changes okay 
So that's it. So basically the only difference I have now is our conky and that's okay. I want to keep my own conky. That's all it is. Then you press here and then it says, oh Eric, you haven't saved this one. So your personal one, the dot .conky, that's your personal one. Okay, save, save, save. And that's it. If you want to retest, you refresh up here and then you see, okay, the AOR Nemesis is not online. Uh, sure, it's just an exercise I did. And these things, the green things, are for configuration of our GitHub. So it doesn't matter at all. And give config is really what we've checked. The only difference now is the Nemesis config. So, okay, we have now, we're now at the same um, level of the version online on Nemesis on, on GitHub. So we're back up to date. Um, right. So that's actually what I wanted to share. These things are still open from last time um, I made the tutorial. So we have now the very last version from online and that's all I wanted to share with you. You can at any time share or check if files are more current or, or renewed, if, if things have changed and then change them here. So we actually have now an, an R2D2 with uh, 10 days of uh, development later. All right, enjoy.